this is something that I've just uh, finished for a, a video, an upcoming video, um, how to draw the Death Eater logo. Now this is the standard version, um, but what I really want to do is do a larger version, but sort of like do my own sort of thing, redesign it, um, just add some stuff to it. I always thought that maybe like, um, I, I like the Death Eater type skull thing there, but I thought what about having Voldemort's head there? <laughs> You know, because he's, you know, the Dark Lord and everything. So, and obviously the snake is a good symbol of, uh, you know, the Death Eaters and, you know, evil sort of things. So yeah, that's that. Um, upcoming stuff. Uh, there's a few more logos and stuff that I'm trying to work on. Um, trying to finish a few other videos, uh, but you already know about them. Uh, a few little videos here and there colouring pages still ongoing um, what else is the oh yeah I did uh, another a blue pencil sketch and then I'm just starting to wink over this um, so what I need to do is maybe try and finish this and then scan it in and then all that all that blue stuff won't show up so I didn't know like there's no like uh, annoying erasing of the pencil lines, which I, I hate, so I try and uh, yeah, do that often, just see how it is. I've got to scan it in to see if it does, show, you know, it doesn't show up, but it should, you know, should not show up, I mean. So yeah, awesome. So I want to redesign that um, for another video, um, but look for the video of me drawing this. Um, it's very basic, um, sort of like uninspired. Well, it is inspired because it's the original sort of similar design, but I really like to draw my own thing a lot of the time and try and redesign some stuff. Um, so I've got a few ideas that I want to do for that. So I'll be doing that in the future. It's time to meet my good old friend, the paintbrush, because it's a paint sketch of some sort. Let's go. So today I'm going to start paint sketching something, just an idea for something I've had. Um, it may not work, but who knows. I'm just using the warm grey drawing ink. And I'll just see how it goes. I need to water some of it down. Might work actually. You'll just see it evolve right before your eyes. Just using it straight from the ink bottle. At some point I'll switch to a time lapse because this is in the vlog anyway so I don't want it to be too long. Just show you some of my creative process.
So I'm just using an ink pen um, just to try and make sense of these paint marks with the drawing ink that I did. Um, trying to outline things, make things more clear. Um, probably totally confuse the, the drawing, maybe add too much detail, but oh well, I'm having fun. Drawing details and other stuff. I've drawn like eyeballs there, which I'll probably white out a bit later on. Um, so maybe add more details, make these things on the head, maybe like horns or something. Like spikes, good to outline them. So yeah, I've been, I just spent the last 20 minutes just outlining everything and adding way too much detail. But I think that's what I like about these experimental types of drawings. They just seem to work and they're just fun to do. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, it's become some kind of weird horror creature, as you can tell. But I just, oh, I just like it. That's why I, uh, I suppose I'm continuing with this and not starting something else. Just seeing where it goes, really. And it's good just to add intricate detail to a drawing trying to make sense of it it's, it's almost like um, seeing like clouds in the sky and trying to make stuff out of the the clouds before the change sort of thing I don't know it's similar to that or creases in the paper and you know you can always come up with something Trying to follow some of the paint strokes there. Um, bit of the tone, just trying. I don't know. Come up with something. to dark and a bit more in between there um, I can do later on you can sort of see it looks um, it's forming something some kind of creature um, just needs more ink work I'll just keep on with this and then I'll probably come back to it and show you. I may add some dark, uh, proper dark ink in between. Um, there's a lot of blood as well, so I want to try and, and maybe like little um, tentacle things in there or intestines or something. I don't know. Something, it's, it's all weird. Uh, a mixture of different things, different ideas. So yeah, I'll just come back to this and I'll show you some more as I progress with it in the vlog. So I've added the white spaces for the eyeballs there. Um, I think this might need some teeth, but I just need to work out where I'm going to put them teeth. Um, or whether it might actually need teeth, I don't know. Um, sometimes these drawings, you know, you sometimes add a load of extra white bits or highlights or a certain colour and it just ends up ruining the drawing so I don't know I may leave that for a bit I don't know um, but I'm definitely liking the way 
um, I'm creating these pieces of artwork experimentally at first and then just trying to yeah, tighten it up with loads of ink work and outlines and things like that. What the hell? Cat over there. I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> Cheers now.